Hello, Internet. I'm back. My beardy. Got an awesome new copter to show you. Come on, check it out. Guys, welcome back to episode six of the KK 2.0 video series. Fittingly enough, I have a hexacopter for you. This is the Turnigy Talon V1 uh, carbon fiber hexacopter kit. This thing is absolutely awesome. Uh, it went together extremely well, as you can see from the build footage. Check that out, and I'll tell you a little bit more about what's going on. New workshop, huh? Now, I have built this thing using the same KK 2.0 board, Afro 20 amp ESCs, and NTM 2826 1000 kV motors that I've been using for the rest of these builds. I'm flying this guy with uh, an orange receiver with a satellite, uh, because since it's a hex, I figure I can get a little bit further away. Uh, and also, uh, what else? I'm flying this on a 3000 or a 3300 3S, whichever I've got kicking around. Uh, so yeah, this thing is really, really great. Check out some flight footage. Okay guys, so as you could see, the frame went together really, really well. This is a very straightforward build. I have loaded the Hexacopter X firmware so that it flies in X mode with two props to the front. I have calibrated the accelerometers. That is all I have done. Otherwise, this is bone stock KK2 Hexacopter firmware. Let's see how it flies. Details. Details. It's the little things. That's it. First try. Wow. That is bone stock. KK2 firmware. That's incredible, frankly. But like, look how easy it is. <laughs> and that's a really good copter. Yeah, that's really easy. Like, like no, no oscillation at all. It just comes right back. That's nice. I'm gonna punch it. Yep. It's got plenty of power. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know if it's the Afro ESCs or what, but it's better than we've ever been able to get these to perform before. And we're barely trying. Yeah, it's it's not in it's not in loop or roll or flip characteristic at all right now. But I mean, stable and easy to fly. You know, I mean, you can't even upset it. Like, you, know, you can do pirouetting circles. <laughs> I mean, even in those rapid descents, I mean, when, when have we ever made a copter that was that? <laughs> what did you change settings-wise? Nothing! This is completely stock KK2 1.6 firmware for Hexacopter X. That's why I'm so blown away. Now, it does drift a little on yaw, so we'll do some tuning there. Voltage alarm. So you can see from the flight footage there that this thing just is absolutely super duper stable in the sky and very, very easy to fly. That was with 10 minutes of setup that consisted of loading the defaults and running a little bit of, uh, of a calibration routine. So that was it, man. That's all it took to get this thing flying. Now in the next couple of episodes here, the next thing I'm gonna do 
is a great big octocopter build on another of the Hobby King products. I'm going to show you how that thing goes together and set that up as a great big camera platform. So that should be really cool. Following that, I'm going to get into the nitty gritty of things like how to solder and set up the voltage alarm and also how to take something docile and gentle in the air like this copter and turn it into an acrobatic monster. So stay tuned for that. This is kind of a quick one uh, just because this is a very easy copter to put together, but more KK2 cool stuff coming very, very soon. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for bearing with the mess while I move here and uh, we'll get back to you soon. Check it out. So where am I pointed? Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I'm nose in. Okay. <laughs> Yay, auto level and wow. Okay, so boys and girls, important lesson. Hexacopters are way harder to orient than quadcopters. 